Democracy arises out of the notion that those who are equal in any respect are equal in all respects. Remember, remember always, that all of us, and you and I especially, are descended from immigrants and revolutionists. I had always hoped that this land might become a safe and agreeable asylum to the virtuous and persecuted part of mankind, to whatever nation they might belong. The fact is, it's true what they say about the United States. It is a land of opportunity. It is too various to get bored with it. If you're worried about getting a job or keeping one start a company of your own, by doing so, you'll reap the rewards of your hard work and you'll only get fired if you fail. This is the land of opportunity. Live in it. Let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe, to assure the survival and success of liberty. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. America will never be destroyed from the outside. If we falter and lose our freedoms, it will be because we destroyed ourselves. The Constitution only guarantees you the right to pursue happiness. You have to catch it yourself. When everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. If you're not ready to die for it, put the word freedom out of your vocabulary. When an American says that he loves his country, he means not only that he loves the New England hills, the prairies glistening in the sun, the wide and rising plains, the great mountains, and the sea. He means that he loves an inner air, an inner light in which freedom lives and in which a man can draw the breath of self-respect. If you take advantage of everything America has to offer, there's nothing you can't accomplish. No one's going to take our democracy away from us, not now, not ever. America's come too far. America's fought too many battles. America's endured too much to ever let that happen. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Sometimes people call me an idealist. Well, that is the way I know I am an American. America is the only idealistic nation in the world. We on this continent should never forget that men first crossed the Atlantic not to find soil for their plows but to secure liberty for their souls. Here, beyond anything else on the whole earth, is a country blessed by an ideal geography and almost perfect natural frontiers, by incalculable bulk and wealth and variety and vitality, by a unique and indeed unexampled heritage in democratic ideas and principles and a country deliberately founded on a good idea.